clock miss. morning. It's gloomy today. You can probably tell from the footage. Um, I also really love how like once I get my coffee up here and I do my advents, it's just enough time for the coffee to cool down and I can drink it without burning my mouth. <laughs> it's really great. I think you can tell I'm feeling better today. I had a really great night's sleep. Um, I was really, uh, yeah, oh, much needed. I'm looking forward to today. I think today's going to be so much fun. Um, I do have to do, I can't take off from work completely. I have a bunch of um, sort of administrati, administrative stuff to do, um, like review reports and compose some stuff and, and uh, get some, get some um, things moving that I, I actually got a lot of stuff done yesterday, surprisingly, as stressed out as I was. So maybe I just work better under stress, who knows. 
Anyway, my, uh, my creative wheels have been turning and I've been thinking a lot about uh, crafting as well. And yeah, I'm going to just show you later. I'm not going to talk about it right now. The only thing I do want to um, talk about right now, besides like expect a lot of like knitting and Christmas content today. <laughs> um, happy Friday, by the way. Uh, so one of my viewers is having trouble finding good Vlogmases. So I was thinking that my other viewers could give some directions. So in the comments below, please share the Vlogmas that you like to watch besides mine. So um, I shared what, what I also just want to say this about Vlogmas is like, I love them. And sometimes though, like the person, the vlogger burns out or they get busy, they get like caught up in life stuff and they're just not able to continue vlogging every day or they'll vlog more sporadically. Like I absolutely love Dundernitz vlogs. I think we all do. <laughs> But she, I don't think she's even vlog vlogging this year. I haven't seen any. If she's planning to vlog, it might be like, you know, just a few times between now and, um, and uh, you know, Christmas. So the other thing I was going to say is that, um, you know, the, the, the couple that I like, I already mentioned a, a homespun house and, of course, stranded dye works. Uh, those are two that I like. Stranded, Stranded. Amy makes hers very short, so there are just a few minutes. Um, but I also love Arnie and Carlos. Like I like what they're doing. I haven't watched uh, since Sunday this week, but I'm gonna catch up on the weekend, um, probably on Sunday. This Sunday, I'll I'll get all caught up on theirs. They're just really pleasant, and uh, I don't know. I just really love their vibe. I, I think they are the most popular knitting YouTube channel. They have over a hundred thousand, a hundred thousand subscribers. <laughs> That's amazing. Goals, right? <laughs> I actually know. I don't know what I would do with that many viewers. Um, yeah. So who do you like? I, there are so many, like I, there is a bunch I watch, I've watched a lot more, but I don't stick with, those are the three that I do stick with. Um, and maybe what, oh, Stress Knits. I've been watching Stress Knits this year too. Um, she's moving house, so I will be surprised if she's able to maintain her pace of keeping up a vlog every day. If you're not watching her. She's cool. She's she's my son's age, my oldest son's age. And uh, yeah, so I, I always, when I'm watching her, she, I she, I think about my daughter-in-law because I'm just like, I think my daughter-in-law would really, really like this um, watching this woman. Cause I think, you know, not that their, their lives are similar, but like the place and time in which they became adults is similar. So I, I don't know. I, I related that way. Um, yeah. So yeah, share, share, S spill the tea. Who are your favorites? Who do you like to watch? And yeah, let's, uh, let's all benefit <laughs> from that. Okay, I'm gonna get going with my day. There's a yoga class coming up, so, but I'm gonna, um, I am gonna catch up up on other people's vlog messes this morning and get a little knitting in before I get going with today. I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs>
Fiber Advents. Um, this is the 12 day where I'm opening one every other day. And then this is the everyday one. I was just curious what, how they looked together. So my idea of spinning each day, like maybe five skeins and then doing another five and I would end up with five or so bobbins. Um, that will be probably around 50 grams would be my thought. It might be more like 60 because these aren't exactly 10. Anyway, I was remembering that this, this 12 day is set up to be a gradient. So you could see that pretty clearly. Like there's this consistent turquoise color, which I love. Um, and then, and these are also the same fiber. Where this, these are different fiber blends, which I don't mind blending them together. I um, think it could be interesting. But you know, there could be like maybe a little bit different arrangement of the colors than maybe going in order. So I don't know, it's a risk, it's a risk. Uh, <laughs> this could be risky and might be wonderful or might be okay or just might be ugly. Where this is pretty safe. The only downside to this is that this is every other day. So now maybe that's okay. That might be good for me actually to spend every other day. And at the end, I'll have a skein. So I think what I'll do with the with this set since it's 12, I'll, I'll put six on one bobbin and six on another bobbin and then they could get uh, applied together and I would end up with one skein. So I think that's the way I'm going to handle this, uh, this, this spinning advent, because I do want to do something. I, my spinning wheel is empty right now. And, uh, yeah, I, this is where, you know, though I was thinking like, this is where having more than one wheel would be super handy because then you could, you know, do one on one wheel and then another one on the other wheel. So that's, that's where my head is at today with my crafting. So let me give you a quick peek at the stress knits in better light. My goodness. They, so the thing with Stacy's aesthetic is that she has a thing that she does and her colors are pretty complementary to each other, fairly complementary to each other. So if you ever wanted an advent, if you, if you like this vibe, this sort of pastel and earth tone vibe, um, and you wanted an advent where you wouldn't have to worry about randomness of colors because they're all going to just kind of go together. Her, this is it. This is the advent for you. <laughs> um, I love the one that I opened today. Oh my goodness. Bottle brush trees. The speckles of pink in it are just fantastic. I love my bottle brush trees. Yeah, these are really, really spectacular. Just so pretty.